Hello, and welcome to another T-Studio demo. What happens when objects that you need to draw are not all lined up in a grid-like fashion? Let's say you want to be more natural or have a more chaotic view of the items, as if they're just sort of randomly placed. Before I begin, if you're unsure how to draw a simple box in two-point perspective, I encourage you to watch my short instructional video, and there's a link down below in the description. In order to achieve a more natural looking effect, you need to locate different sets of vanishing points for each object that you will draw. The only time that you'll repeat the use of a set of vanishing points is if the items being drawn have edges or sides that are parallel to each other. In this simple video, I went about drawing a series of boxes and used a different set of vanishing points for the boxes. What I don't change is my center of vision, the station point, the line of sight, and my horizon line. Those items stay fixed. I want to use the same station point so that I can locate all of my vanishing points and that the image looks correct. A real useful tip in keeping a drawing organized is making sure to label each of your sets of vanishing points differently so that you don't get confused as you're drawing. I usually just write LVP1 and RVP1 for one set, LVP2 and RVP2 for the second set, and so on. You will also see that as I complete the drawing uh, today, I will add object lines in graphite, and I just include a shaded side so that you can see each of the boxes better.
I hope this video was useful to you as you make your own drawings. Thanks for watching.